One thing I do like about the Z's, it comes with an armrest. Yeah, I'm totally chilling right now. You're sitting there like, looking like this in the bar with your guitar. <laughs> People are like, damn, that guy's, an, that guy's the real deal. Hey everybody, how's it going? Cliffhanger here, Replay Guitar Exchange. Be sure and check out our website, replayguitar.com. See a full list of all our inventory. And if you see something in these videos that is not yet on our website, be sure to send us a message or give us a call at 813-254-8880. Take a look at this one. Wow. Can you see the whole thing in the, it's, is it all fit? It's all fit. It's a massive guitar. This is a 1982 Dean Z in red. Kind of like the Sammy Hagar guitar a little bit, right? All it needs is an I Can't Drive 55 sticker on it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Really cool, not too heavy. I'll be sure and put the weight here for you guys going up the side. I mean, with such a giant guitar, you might think, oh man, the thing must be a backbreaker, but I'm actually uh, surprised. It's, it's, not, it's not extremely heavy at all. It's a gorgeous guitar. There is some wear, like I said, it is from 1982. I'll be sure I'm flying some pictures, but we do have some light wear, some battle scars from probably it being played over the years. Uh, but when this one was traded in, I, I just restrung it and I was like, yeah, we're gonna do a video on this Git Fiddle for sure. I really think that with that red, that black binding that goes around the whole body is just really nice. Now it does have DiMarzio pickups in there. They are aggressive pickups, so this would be a great guitar for rock and roll or metal if you are a metal head. Take a look at the headstock, the, the big old Dean headstock with the double, the double point, and this is a made in the USA, in case I forgot to mention that earlier. This is a good old American Git Fiddle, and it is a nice one here too. I wanna show off the back because there are some differences from this one, this vintage piece from 82, to the new ones and you can see it's all mahogany and it's really nice it's beautiful grain in that wood and you can see the cover here for all the volume knob the tone knob but up here is a cavity for the switch and it is a different shape than the new ones right so this one's a, a big old cavity there instead of you know the, the modern style string through the body going to give it some great resonation yeah, I think we should plug this in, keep it short and sweet. This guitar is going for $3,000. Does have a original hard shell case that comes with it. And it is a shred machine, the big machine. Yeah, let's rock and roll it. If you're interested, give us a call. All right, here we go. <laughs> Nice, it's aggressive, really cool. I'm gonna flip it up here. Awesome. Very cool. It's, it's a very, very cool guitar. It's a very fun guitar to play. It is big. You do kind of got to get used to that, especially if you're like me. You're short and you can't ride roller coasters yet. But like I said, you can do this, right? Look, look, I'm just chilling. So we're going to go to a clean sound real quick, just in case you want to hear how it sounds with it being clean. I think we should really push those uh, DiMarzio pickups. So here we go. <laughs> Nice. 
nice. It's got a great warmth to it. Those pickups, even in the clean mode, are kind of aggressive and will really pop out in the mix, I can tell. Let's listen to the same thing, but up here. Yeah, it's got a great bite to it. It breaks up a little bit, even though it's totally clean. Um, the pickups are hot, you know? The pickups are really hot. As in sexy. Look at this thing. Everything about this guitar is sexy. Very hot. We love it.